All right, hello YouTube. It's been a while. Uh, I just got bored and started getting back into the Modern Warfare 2 modding, and uh, I just want to show you how to do some fun backup patches. All right, so if you guys don't know what backup patches are, you can simply go into settings, game settings, scroll all the way down to backup utility, and then you can simply restore. Um, a backup patch basically someone they make a patch a menu into a backup form and it's very simple um, but the first thing you're gonna have to do is format your system if you, for you guys you don't have I have a fat but you guys are just gonna have format system storage just click on that yes and then do a quick format well this is gonna warn you when you format your data it's gonna delete all data on your PlayStation that's the only thing that sucks about this. Um, it deletes all your save games, any map packs you've downloaded, but any map packs you can just reinstall, so it's not a big deal. So if you want any save data, if you want any save data, make sure you go in your save data utility and copy them onto a USB, um, and then you can just go over here. So just uh, system format format storage. Yes, quick format. It should take, it's really quick. Just takes a minute. And then just restart. Your PlayStation will restart and it's just going to uh, reformat. It's going to say. Just ready to go. All right, let's let me. All right, so now he's ready to go. Um, so you can simply head back over. See if you notice everything will be wiped. I don't have any saved data, data anymore. Nothing. Your PlayStation is completely empty. Um, so it's nice if you want to clean it out. Um, but now you can head back over system settings. Head all the way down to backup utility. And then. Connect your, this is where you connect your USB. So this is where I'm going to bring you over to the computer. Alright, so now you're at your computer, you want to head to my YouTube channel, which I'm sure you guys have already been to. If you haven't, um, it's Ian Pobaz12. Um, and you want to head to the About tab, because I obviously can't put the video link in the description right now, because I'm making the video. <laughs> so you go ahead to the About tab, and down at the bottom of the About tab, see here, down to the bottom, it's going to be all backup packages. You just want to click. Up, you want to put in your USB device, plug that into your computer, and then um, open open up the link. I always just minimize my page because you don't need it full screen. And you just download it. Um, I've already, of course, got it downloaded, so no reason to waste. It's a decent sized file. It's uh, 168 megs, but it's five different patches I have downloaded for you guys. So once you get, once it downloads, once it downloads, drag it onto your desktop. I just place it right there. Then you're just gonna wanna up, uh, open up your USB. Um. And inside of this file, it's going to have the PS3 folder, and I'm not going to buy um, PS3 folder. And right inside of the PS3 folder, these are some CFG files that you can use. Um, the Aggression V2 is for one of the patches that you can edit to put your name in. Um, button default is mine. Like this is my this is just my my, my normal CFG menu. And then uh, perks, and then the unlock all file. So these are just the separate things you can use. So just you want to drag, open these up first, and, and select them all. Shift, select one, and then shift, hold shift down, and then you'll select the other ones. And then you can just drag them into your USB. Once you've done that, you just want to back out, click on here, and then drag the whole PS3 folder. 
trying to do this with my left hand. There you go, hold the whole PS3 folder into your USB. Should take a little bit of time. But not too long. Yeah, see, it's it's pretty quick. Um, so once that copies, I'll be back. All right. So now we're back at the PlayStation. You plug your USB into the right USB slot. And it should pop up your USB right away. Um, this is where you're going to... Depends on what you're looking for. If you want to put one for... Keyboard patch is just simple. Like, it just gives you a keyboard patch. I'll show you when I load up my other one. But, um... It allows you to load yourself CFG. So you can still use your normal old CFG menu with just the, the button default file. If you like to do CFG that way. If you want the simple keyboard patch, because it that's all it is, it's just to give yourself CFG. It, that way you don't have to worry about the because otherwise the menus conflict with each other. So um, aggression is pretty simple. It's very simple. It's not very fancy. Um, it's got what you need. It's got good aimbot and you can plus CFG. It's got the model hack, which is really freaking awesome. If you guys don't know what the model hack is, it's amazing. Annihilation is a very good menu. It's got lots of options. It looks really nice. Um, and then Undead Patch is it's okay. I don't like how it. I don't like the colors on it because it messes with your UAV. So I'm gonna show you what I think is the best one, which is Annihilation. I, I'm gonna do Aggression actually. It's aggressive, aggression because it's just it. it it's the simplest and easiest one to use, and it's got the model hack, and the model model hack is just amazing. It's my favorite mod of all time. I know the video is a bit lengthy, but I'm just trying to get everything in for you guys. But it's just, it's so simple. These are the best. It took me a while to make a video on this because these are the best menus I could find. I spent a solid week searching for vi for menus that I think are most useful and the easiest to use. Um, so as long I forgot, as long as you're in America, right there, and your your disc here, where is it? Your disc here says BLUS. 30377. These are gonna work in the U.S. These mods, they're they're uh, they matter on what region you live in. So uh, these ones are all for U.S. So as long as your disc says what I just showed you, you'll be fine. So now this one's ready to go. Three minutes to switch menus, so it's not like it's hard. Um, I'm gonna load up the game and get it, get her started. Okay, same thing is gonna be with this one. It's gonna have this. This is to check to make sure it works. Is you want to make sure it has an update already installed, and obviously it's modded DMP. So this is a keyboard menu, so you click on this, it gives you options, um, number one for infection, enter two for 
real-time modding options, which I don't suggest doing. They look cool, but they can glitch your game up, so I just avoid them. Um, plus, it's not, I mean, it's really not worth it. But, like I said, you can, if you want to just do CFD, you can just give yourself CFD right off the bat. Um, you know, CFD, aim assist, a mini menu, or unlock all snipers. So it's just the basics. Um, but I just want to play online. Um, I'm just going to show you the menu a little bit. And then the menu is really just a basic CFD. It just looks a little bit fancier. It looks a little different, I guess. model hack here, this is VC, well this is just a funky, uh, they put over the top of it, but it's a model, a fully automatic model with unlimited range, uh, this is a truck, it's got shotgun marks on it, from way back there, of course it's going to be spread out, but, you know, it's, it's got unlimited range, it goes through th stuff like SMJ, and it's just nuts. So, that's the super reload on it. It's just fun. Alright, so the menu is very simple. I said it's, you know, UAV, laser, FPS, toggle, everyone knows that stuff. The non-host uh, end game is amazing, and it wor like if you have just a really crappy host or he's, you know, it works. It works and it's awesome. Um, it's fun. Like I said they're all pro mod, um, third person. They're all very simple. Left gun. So aimbot menu. Okay, so the aimbot menu. The best way to combo the aimbot aimbot menu is start at the start at the bottom, and you want to turn disturbed aim assist on, uh, strong aim aimbot, and then turn on your single or um, no scope aimbot because otherwise they're, they're, they're just not as snappy and you'll notice a difference trust me because you want you always want to pair whenever you're using aim assist or aimbot you want to pair it with aim, aim assist because it just makes it it makes it snappier and it makes a big difference I love this about these menus though is that okay, it has the, the messages and then you can custom, you can put a custom message in, like troll, you can put whatever you want up there, and it comes up on the screen, it's, it's a little delayed, but, yeah, let's see, it's a little delayed, but it comes up on the screen, um, and then so you have your typical maps, and then you have three infections, um, CFG, UAV, and everything else, Trick none of these seem to really work. I mean, of course, the no scope aimbot and explosive bullets. But. Alright, so this is where the. If you want the explosive bullets to work, this is where the aggression um, CFG comes in handy. That CFG ish file I told you. So you're going to want to edit your name into that. And if you don't know how to edit your name into a CFG file, um, it's just really simple. You uh, right click on it, and hit open, open with um, Notepad, and it, the rest of it's self-explanatory. If you don't know how to, though, though I um, do have a video on it. It's it's really simple. But um, and then you edit quick menu. Oh, it's already switched it, didn't I? Let's see, um, the red boxes is pretty cool. The passive re revised aimbot really isn't anything special. But, yeah, so that's that's 1.14, works just fine. Um, well, it's going to suck because you can't give yourself all perks, which is kind of disappointing, really. But, you still have falling damage, which is weird. So, if you w don't want falling damage, you got to go to host and then turn on. Post jump, 
or no falling damage in the health menu. No fall damage. I don't know why it does for some reason. But yeah, see that's that's the menus, guys. And if you have any questions, just make sure to comment. Um, hope this video helped you out. And this is. The Info Barons 12, and I'm out.